So I'm kind of energetically transmitting this into you right now. Can you feel the vibration? Mm -hmm. I'm starting to really tingle. I'm mm -hmm. vibrationally imprinting into you this kind of um, almost wooziness that's coming in my third eye as I'm going into spirit and transmitting this energy to you so you can feel it. This is the beauty of being awake, being conscious, instead of being asleep. When we're asleep, we have no clue, right? Ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. It's bliss. We don't experience the dark. We don't experience the negative. We don't even know what's going on inside of us. We don't care. We don't want to know. We're smoking, we're drinking, <laughs> drugging, addictions, doing all that stuff so that we don't have to feel any of this that's happening inside of us, right? That's where our culture is at. That's where our world is at. We do that so we can block it all out. We can numb it, push it down. And now when you awaken, you gotta feel all that pain inside of you. You gotta deal with all that stuff you've suppressed, right? You've gotta do the work. And it's not easy. It's not for the faint hearted. We always say that. It's not for the faint hearted, right? So we have to really be willing to put on our boots, pull up our bootstraps and dive into the mud and the muck and the mire of all of that crap that we've created in our lives over so many years, right? So many lifetimes. And we get ill, karma. We have a car accident, karma. We have a bad relationship, karma. We don't get that job we really want, karma. We don't get that relationship that we really wanted but we end up with someone else, karma right? All of what happens to us is dictated by our karma. We come here for one reason, to burn that karma, to clear that karma. It's like, you get a life, you get a body, go, do it, go do the work. Those that stay asleep, they're just going to take on another body and another body for thousands and thousands and thousands of years and cycles until you're ready to wake up. And that's the role of a spiritual teacher, is to wake people up, okay? That's the role. People say, well, you don't need a spiritual teacher. Why would you need a spiritual teacher? Because most of humanity is dead asleep in a nightmare. Mm -hmm. Just driving drunk in a nightmare, into oblivion, right? That's where most of humanity is at. So we need to wake up and get conscious that we're light beings having a human experience in a physical body, in a 3D realm, and none of it is real. It's real on this level. It's real when a hammer hits you over the head, but to the soul, not at all. The soul is totally neutral and impartial. Soul never judges. Soul's not good or bad.